Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Tully, and Merry Christmas! I really hope this green screen is working. Hope you all are having a happy holiday, spending time with friends and family, laughing, smiling, drinking hot chocolate, praying all of you have a very blessed holidays. Now, we are back. Finally, we get to play a game that's not Gotham Knights. <laughs> As you all have seen by the title and thumbnail, today we are starting our new series, God of War. Now yes, I do know Ragnarok came out like a month ago, maybe more or less, I don't really know. However, I don't feel like I can play it yet because I haven't played the first God of War. And not only have I not played this God of War, I haven't played any God of War game out there. Yeah. But, I did do my research. And by research, I mean I watched a bunch of cutscene movie stuff on God of War 1-3. through 3. So I do know the basics of the series. And just in case you're like me, before we get into the game, I'm going to sum up God of War 1, 2, and 3, just in case you have no idea what's going on like me. If you have played God of War 1 through 3 and you know the story, then just click here, there, to skip to the gameplay. Otherwise, get ready for a long summary. Okay, let's start off with a small origin of our main hero, Kratos. Doesn't he look heroic? Kratos is a very big warrior from Spartan who is extremely good at his job, which is fighting. So good that he eventually becomes a captain of his own Spartan army. He fights in many wars and wins pretty much all of them. Until he comes across a war against a bunch of barbarians, where he ends up losing most of his men and almost dying himself. Oh, also important to note, Kratos has a wife and daughter who he loves very, very much. Just before Kratos is about to die to this barbarian, he calls out to Ares, who is the god of war, for help. And Ares helps him because he sees a worthy candidate of somebody who can take over Olympus. Ares gives Kratos the Blades of Chaos and helps him defeat the barbarians in a very, very brutal way. Kratos kind of becomes a super soldier or... Ares' number one guy for killing people and sends him on to raid and murder villages all around. On one of the last villages that he raids, Ares sends him to a village where Athena is worshipped by a bunch of people. The reason that Ares wants this village to be burned is because he's jealous of Athena for Zeus loving her more than him. By the way, Zeus is Ares and Athena's father. Kratos murders pretty much everybody in the village and when he gets to the city temple, he is met by an oracle who tells him not to enter the temple or he will meet his worst horrors or some crap like that. Kratos is like, no, I'm buff and strong, step aside old lady, and walks into the city temple and kills everybody. Little does he know, when he kills everybody in the city temple, this also includes his own wife and daughter. Ares then appears and tells him that he put his wife and daughter in there so that Kratos would kill them and sever all ties to humanity and become like the best soldier that Ares had ever had. Kratos feeling immense guilt because he did love his wife and daughter leaves the temple as is burning, meets the oracle again, and the oracle curses him by binding the ashes of his wife and daughter to his skin, making him completely white, and he earns the new name, the Ghost of Sparta. Some time passes and Kratos is currently doing work for the gods and trying to ignore Ares and the goddess Athena comes and asks him to save Athens which Ares is attacking and Kratos says yes, purely because he knows he can get revenge on Ares now. Kratos also agrees because he wants the gods to take away his nightmares if he succeeds at killing Ares. Now, in order for Kratos to succeed in this, he must find something called Pandora's Box, which if any mortal opens the box, they will be given the power of the gods and he will be able to kill Ares. Now, the entire dadgum game is him trying to find this box. Unfortunately for him, the box is in a lost temple on the back of the mad titan Kronos, Kronos being the father of Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. Kratos travels to this temple that's on Kronos' back, grabs the box, However, Ares senses it somehow and throws a giant spear at Kratos and kills him. Kratos falls down into Hades and then catches himself and just climbs back out. 
because that's a thing. Kratos then goes back to Athens, finds Pandora's box, opens it, and gets the power of the gods. He and Ares end up in this long, dragged out fight, but Kratos eventually wins. After winning, Kratos meets up with Athena again, and he asks her to take away his nightmares. Athena says, well, we can forgive your sins, but we can't take away your nightmares. Sorry. So Kratos will still have nightmares about killing his wife and daughter. Kratos, seeing no out to this, decides to go to the tallest mountain he can find and hurl himself off of it. Athena being like, nah, we kinda need him, saves his life, brings him back to Olympus and says, well, you killed the god of war, wanna take his spot? Kratos agrees and he becomes the new god of war. And that's the end of the first game. Now on to God of War 2. Kratos currently hates the gods for not keeping their promise and decides to start the entire game off by attacking Greece. Athena meets up with him and pleads him to stop and Kratos is like, nah, I'm gonna go fight. Bye. And then grows like Super Mario Bros gave him a mushroom. During the battle, an eagle comes and hits him with a lightning bolt, taking away most of his power and transfers it into a giant statue, Colossus. During the fight, Zeus sends down a sword, which is called the Blade of Olympus, which he can use to kill the Colossus, with the catch that Kratos has to put the rest of his godly powers into the sword in order to use it, making him immortal. He uses the sword to kill the Colossus, and the Colossus being a good sport gives him a high five to celebrate his win. Kratos gets up and realizes that he needs to grab the Sword of Olympus to regain his power in order to stay alive. Zeus comes down, revealing that he was the eagle that stole his powers, and says, nah, you can't have your powers back. Sorry, mate. They have a very wimpy fight, and Zeus ends up stabbing Kratos right in the stomach with the Blade of Olympus, killing him. On his way down to the underworld, Kratos meets a mad titan called Gaia, also known as Mother Nature, who gives him a Pegasus and tells him to go find the Sisters of Fate in order to go back in time and kill Zeus. Gaia, being a titan, doesn't really want the gods to rule anymore and wants the titans to rule again, so she wants Zeus dead. Now, the whole second game is about finding the Sisters of Fate. And you do end up finding them after killing a lot of people. And when you find them, you kill them. Yep, Kratos kills all the Sisters of Fate and then takes their power. Kratos uses the Fate's power to go back in time, grabs the sword, he and Zeus fight, and Kratos ends up stabbing Zeus in the stomach. Right before Kratos is about to unleash his deadly slash with the sword, Athena jumps in and saves Zeus' life. Zeus tries to run away and Kratos notices, so he goes to stab him and Athena jumps in the way and Kratos ends up stabbing Athena with the sword. Kratos is like, no, why would you do that? We had such a relationship going on. Why? And Athena's like, I didn't want the pattern to repeat of a son killing his father. Oh, by the way, this, this fully reveals that Kratos is a son of Zeus as well, so he's a demigod which is probably the reason he can't die. After this, Athena dies, Zeus escapes, and Kratos takes the sword, goes back in time to his normal spot, present, uh, teams up with Gaia, and the game ends with them climbing Mount Olympus, declaring war against the gods. Now on to God of War 3. The game begins as God of War 2 ended with a war against Olympus, and Kratos and Gaia climbing up the mountain. Poseidon tries to stop them by fighting them with this cool looking water crab tentacle looking thing, but then Poseidon gets absolutely wrecked in the most brutal way. Gaia and Kratos reach the top and Zeus hits them with a giant lightning bolt that almost knocks Gaia and Kratos off the mountain. Gaia hangs on but let Kratos fall because she just doesn't see a use for him anymore. Down at the bottom of everything, Kratos meets Ghost Athena. Cause that's a thing. Ghost Athena realizes the gods have to pay and die and tells Kratos exactly how to do it by going to get the kid Pandora, which is what Pandora's box is named after, and using her to put out the flame of Olympus. The entire rest of the game is Kratos pretty much trying to find Pandora, and on his journey to find Pandora, he kills pretty much every single other god or demigod that he can find. Kratos kills Hades, Helios, Hermes, Hercules, his half-brother, Kronos, which is the Mad Titan and father of Zeus, Hephaestus, which is Pandora's dad, and Hera, which is Zeus's wife. Anyways, Kratos makes it to the labyrinth and finds Pandora. Kratos raises the labyrinth to the fire of Olympus, and Pandora tries to jump in, but Kratos grabs her arm and is like, nah, I don't really want you to die because you remind me of my daughter. 
Zeus interferes, finds them, and he and Kratos start fighting again. During the fight, Pandora tries to jump into the Flame Olympus, but Kratos catches her and is like, please don't do this. And then he lets go because Zeus makes a comment about failing his family. After the fire is put out, Kratos opens Pandora's box once again, except it's completely empty. After finding out that it's empty, he and Zeus just kind of go up and watch the world as it's being destroyed because of all the chaos that they've done. Guy interferes, tries to kill both of them, and they both fall into a hole leading to Guy's heart where they have their final fight. The fight ends with Kratos stabbing Zeus with the Blade of Olympus, and the blade also goes into Gaia's heart, killing both Gaia and Zeus at the same time. Some time passes, and Kratos wakes up, grabs the Blade of Olympus, and then behind him, the Ghost of Zeus appears and tries to kill him once again. Zeus attacks him by showing memories of his family, and the Spirit of Pandora comes to help him by giving Kratos the power of hope. Kratos stops daydreaming about his family, makes Zeus' spirit go back into his body, and then proceeds to beat the crap out of Zeus until he dies for real. Zeus dies, Olympus falls, and the entire fight is over. Ghost Athena comes back to tell him that when the evils of Pandora's box were originally put into the box, she also put the gift of hope into the box as well. When Kratos opened the box initially, all of the evils went into all the other gods, which made them go crazy, and the power of hope went into Kratos, but it was blocked behind his pain and guilt of killing his family. So when that whole fight thing happened of Zeus making him see his family and Pandora helped him, he pretty much got, Pandora pretty much got Kratos to forgive himself for killing his family and that's how Hope won, I guess. Athena then asks for Kratos to give the hope back to her and Kratos is like, no, I'm just gonna stab myself with the Blade of Olympus. The reason he did this was so that the power of hope would be unleashed onto the mortal world and everybody can enjoy hope. Athena is pissed off and disappointed about this, so she removes the Blade of Olympus from Kratos and just leaves him to die. Some time passes and we see that there is a blood trail from where Kratos was stabbed leading all the way to the cliff which leads to the ocean, giving the impression and hint that Kratos is still alive. And that is how the God of War trilogy ends. All right, that pretty much sums up all the important stuff. Just to refresh, Kratos kills pretty much every single God throughout all three games and has to forgive himself for killing his wife and daughter. That's pretty much all three games with some extra lore and stuff. Anyways, now we're ready to play God of War 4. I'm throwing it to Tutley in the future where he will continue this episode and start the game. Peace. Hey, Jerry. You having a good Christmas? Okay. Uh, well, since I've never played a God of War game, I'm just gonna select story, because I don't know what to do. Whoa! Okay, it looks way more real than the, uh, original trilogy. I don't know anything about this game, other than that it takes place roughly a thousand years after God of War 3. What, did he lose somebody? He's supposedly very old now. I like the beard. He's got the scar on his stomach too. Attention to detail. R1 to swing Leviathan axe. Mm. Ah! Mm. What, is he not as strong as he was before? Or is this just a hard ah. tree? Oh, well never mind. Oh, ah! Go down! Die! Yeah, that's right. You don't mess with me. Oh. Oh yeah, that's from, isn't that from the Blades of Chaos? From being binded to his arms for so long? Will it really still haunt him after a thousand years? I found some. Atreus. Is that a son? Does he have a son? Get in the boat, boy. 
Boy, this voice is so epic. This is a cool game to play for Christmas. I'm excited. I'm excited to start something new. The music is epic. Okay, maybe he is strong. I guess he is still a demigod. Looks so real. This game was made in 2018, so it's a little old, four years, but it still looks beautiful. Still want me to tie it to the boat? Sure. It just puts it down like nothing. Boy. So it calls him boy. So, I think this game, um... That is enough. The last three were about Greek mythology. Apparently this one transverses into Norse mythology. Which I don't know much about other than Thor and Loki from the Avengers movies. So I'm interested to learn. Oh wow, this is weird. Father? What? It is his son. Did something change? The forest feels... different. Yeah. Everything is different, boy. Try not to dwell on it. Christopher Judge. Christopher. I think that's the guy who voices Kratos. So last we saw of Kratos, at least in my summary thing, he just went into the ocean after being stabbed in the stomach. Again. Why does he need a tree? Well, it's nice that he has a son again, because losing his wife and daughter was very traumatic. He has a family. I'm willing to bet this entire game is just going to be about re-becoming a father. I've done my best to stay away from spoilers, which is hard to do considering this game is four years old. But still, I'm excited. So we don't- I'm noticing that we don't have the Blades of Chaos anymore. We have an axe. Which I'm wondering where we got that from, because it seems like a pretty cool axe. Leviathan. I don't know what it means. Oh, there's our house. That was the last. Okay. <laughs> He's got tattoos. Avatar, the last day of Bender. Meets God of War. Oh, did his wife die? Oh, no. Mother, do I see my mother? He did. She did die. Dang. Mother, do I see my father? Oh, there, did they call to me? Sad. Oh, there, did they call to me? Oh, there, did they call to me? What does that mean? Oh, there, did they call to me? Oh, there, did they call to me? Oh, that is creepy. <laughs> Dang, he lost another wife. She's ready. He seems like he's really changed. He's not angry anymore. Yeah, 
This music is awesome. Goodbye. Hey. We're starting off so sad. He doesn't seem very rageful anymore, though. <laughs> Father. It was hers. Now it is yours. She thought you'd hunt. What she knew. Show me. Now? Now. He wants to make sure that he can fight. I imagine it's gonna be very hard on him. Cause he he doesn't really know how to be a father anymore. Of course, a lot can happen in a thousand years. But he's so sad. <laughs> he what looks cool, though. You are hunting deer. Which way? In the direction of deer. Okay. <laughs> uh, this way. We're gonna make him do all this work. The journey, the marked trees, hunt with Atreus. Father? What's up? Why are we doing this now? I need to know you can survive the journey. Then we leave for the mountain? Depends on you. What mountain? Hunt. Mount Olympus? What did you find? Tracks. Not deer, though. I'll keep looking. Hmm. Okay, well, there's something glowing here. What's this? Hold up, I need to... Had to fix some settings. What am I picking up? I don't know anything about gameplay, I just watched cutscenes. Lost and found new artifacts that hold the show journal. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, there's a lot to learn here. Oh, there's skill trees. Huh. So I can upgrade my axe, and I can upgrade my... Shield. And my armor. Oh. Oh, there's so much to learn. <laughs> Camera More feels tracks. slow but yeah. fast at the same they're, time. They're too round. Could be a wild boar. Good. Oh! Now what? You jump. This way, boy. Let's go. You got hops? Huh? Nice. Oh. Wait. Deer tracks. They're fresh. This way. Okay. How do I sprint? Oh! Ah! <laughs> Found it! Slow down, boy. Sorry. You are hunting deer, not chasing it. <laughs> oh, there's a chest over here. Oh, okay. Well, go for it then. Hack silver. Is that the currency? In this game? You broke our bridge. How are we gonna get across? Step aside. Well, I don't know. Equip Leviathan Axe. Aim. Can we throw this thing? Wow. Go. Okay. Oh, I've been here. Recall Axe. I have magic powers. That's a mazing. There it is. Hold. Ah, uh, come on, dude. What are you uh. doing? Now its guard is up. Only fire. Holy fire. 
when I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Dang. Find it. <clears throat> Find it. Mean dad. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> You will get this bow and you have earned it. Ah, oh, what the? Bow. No! You are not ready! Stay back! The crap is that? I have ice powers! Uh, uh. Yeah, that's right! Uh, uh. Bite him! Uh. Give me that axe! That shot! Bite him! Cause I am. Block or evade, okay? Oh, I have a shield. Come on, come on. What you want? Right. It's kind of like Sekiro. Am I parrying him? Oh, I can lock on too. That's huge. Okay, these controls are pretty cool. And I want flex, I'll throw my axe. Draugr. They've yep. never come this close to our woods before. Keep moving. Yeah, that's right. You keep moving there, boy. So that green stuff is for health. I really Up like there. the combat. Okay. You went to the old temple. But mom told me never to go in there. We do what we please, boy. No excuses. Yeah, that's right. We demigods. Or stop something. Yeah, you go in there. I can smell it. Can I have my bow back now? Can you hit it from here? We should get closer. I like how he's training him. He's training him kind of like a soldier, mother, not like a son. He never wanted to take me. Why now? It was her wish. And it was time. Okay. And she was probably a lot better at it than I am. <laughs> Kratos doesn't really know how to be compassionate from what I got. Enemy health. Yeah, I got that. During combat, enemy health bars displayed above the deck. Hi. <laughs> Rock. Catch! Oh, I threw it through him! Heads up! Oh, I'm so sorry, boy! Oh, it went through him! That's awesome! Anyone else? <laughs> oh, this is so cool! Wait, this is awesome! I'm loving this so far! So can I pick this up even though my health is full? Atreus, to me. I'm coming, I'm coming. Atreus. His voice is awesome. I think the voice actor won an award for Ragnarok. Something's gotta open that gate. It's open. Hold to aim. Aim at what? Him? The gear? You froze it in place. Clever. Huh. So nice. Okay, that was tough. Well, that was awesome. This game is Where sick. There's I think a, he's this one. Yeah, but like there's a chest here, bro. What? He can no longer use it. We can. Facts. What is this? Oh, this is so cute. He's on her back. <laughs> father and son, father and son. Give me that. What's in here? Look here. Oh, look. It's Skull and Hati, the giant wolves who chase the sun and moon. Where did they come from? How did they get up there? I don't know. What's happening there at the end? They eat the sun and moon? And then everybody fights? Lore. 
Interesting. Take that. Where's that chest? Oh, here it is. Now, where's that daggum moose? I'm following you, dude. Father. I hear it. Look. Wait for my mark. Relax. Do not think of it as an animal. He needs and tips from Aloy. Target. Clear your mind. Feet solid. Steady yourself. Exhale. Buy him. I got him. Good. <laughs> Aw, poor thing. At least we get dinner now. It's still alive. Your knife. No. Finish what you started. Is he gonna be able to do it? That thing is looking right at him. I can't. Aww. Aww. No. He has such a gentle heart. But they need to eat. I... Oh, he wants to comfort him. <laughs> he doesn't know how. What the crap? Ooh. That's my dear. We're gonna fight that? We have no choice. Defeat the whatever. A tray command tra press square to command Atreus and shoot arrows. Hold and shoot. Number of arrows tra okay. Come here! Oh, oh. Ow! Got it! Oh. Come here! Ooh. I will throw this axe at you until I have nothing left. Ooh. Ow. Ow. Okay, where's health? Where's health? Where's health? I need health. <laughs> you want me to kill it? You kill it. Ooh. Oh, crap. I try ass. Bring it on! Ugh. Oh, this is gonna be brutal, isn't it? This is gonna be brutal. Ah. That's what you get! <laughs> Think I'm a pretty you! <laughs> Calm down, bruh. Boy, look at me. Look at me, boy. Boy, look at me. We did it. Yes, we did. You are not ready. What? What? Are you serious? <laughs> I found the deer. I proved myself. How am I not ready? We are going home. I haven't been
been sick in a long time. I can do this. You are not ready. Whoa. Ah, oh, don't be sad, buddy. I am ready. Do not speak again. <laughs> it's okay, Atreus. Hey, look at me. You're fine. And I'm gonna have to end this episode here. Hopefully you all enjoyed the first part of God of War. If you did, leave a like. The Hope you all this way. Would you shut up? I'm giving them an outro. Hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. See you guys in the next episode of whatever I make. Love you all. Peace. Yeah.